Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Do you accept the blue card? Please. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much, colleague. Thank you. Um, you just quote feminism. We, you were just talking about feminism then and discrimination. I just, I just would like your, um, your opinion, please. If a gentleman, a, a male MEP, had stood up in this parliament and said that men do not want to live in a Europe of old women, what would the feminists have said amongst us? I'm sure there'd be uproar, but you... That is just what you have said, and I, I personally find that equally offensive. I think discrimination has to work both ways, and as a feminist, you can't stand there and make statements like that without then having the contrary uh, backing it up. So t to my mind, to say that women don't want to live in a Europe full of old men is just the same as a man standing up and saying a man doesn't want to live in a Europe full of old women. Colleague. Can I say this once and for all? I mean, we get many questions from the EFDD group. I'm happy to admit all of them. But they are supposed to be questions. What is the reality in your mind or not is not the question. The question is to be asked to the previous speaker in a precise and short manner so that she can answer. So please, do answer the non-question. Thank you. In an equal society, I wouldn't dream of calling anyone anything. But in this society, I have been fighting for women's and girls' equal rights long enough, and I have met a lot of resistance. And believe me, that resistance is mainly from older men. And in this chamber, it's even more true. So I'm not taking it anymore. I'm not having it anymore. And I can name something for what it is. We see a lot of male resistance to gender equality in this room, and it has to stop. I want equality also in this chamber, by the way. Quote us tomorrow. Thank you.